Hi, my name is Homeless Joe, and I'm a panhandling prophet. I know a lot about nothing, and I know nothing about a lot, but I talk a lot anyways. <laughs> I am Betty. Uh, I, I am an octogenarian, and I, I love zipping around on my scooter. I tend, I tend to go very, very quickly, so you, you may want to uh, uh, get the heck out of my way. Growing up through high school, uh, I was really interested in, initially in robotic engineering. That was uh, something I was thinking of as a career as to what I was going to do. And uh, I got to, uh, you know, work with some professional engineers and designers and things like that. And quite honestly, bored me to <laughs> In school, I was a complete geek. I was a complete, like, you know, weird weirdo that sort of did his own thing. Even, even amongst the weirdos, I was the weirdo. I really didn't care. Uh, what people thought. Uh, I really was just figuring out what it was I liked doing and trying to figure out ways of doing it. I went to Notre Dame High School. I started um, uh, just getting interested in doing theater stuff and prop building and things of that nature and I started uh, getting into doing puppets for theatrical things and I really quite uh, I fell in love with the whole craft of, of puppetry and um, because it really did sort of encapsulate all the different types of creative aspects I really enjoyed. It was the design aspect, uh, everything from like sculpture and manufacturing, you know, mechanical parts, making all kinds of really cool things. And then on the creative side, it's performance and, you know, acting, singing, all that kind of crazy fun stuff that you can do as well. I started out as a puppeteer's apprentice, which really was, you know, just fetching coffee, doing this, that, and the other thing, getting puppets ready for a scene, you know, a gopher, basically. I don't know if you recall Under the Umbrella Tree. I was given the opportunity to actually do an apprenticeship with them at CBC Ottawa. I basically <laughs> told all my teachers, okay, look, give me whatever assignments are left for the year, because I'm out of here. Commercially, you know, it's the kid stuff. It's the cute and fuzzy things. That's very much like the North American mentality behind when you say puppets, they think of little kids' things. And yeah, that helped pays the bills. But for myself, I started doing something a little more obscure, and that's horror movies and monsters and creatures with puppets, because that's the kind of stuff that I love. Uh, the Creepy Puppet Project, which is what I've recently started, uh, last few years. Uh, that came about when a colleague of mine and I, we'd been shopping a, uh, a zombie movie script around for a while, and we had a lot of false starts with it. And so it started to get to be frustrating because, you know, you're depending on other people to get your funding and this, that, and the other thing. And I thought, well, I want to do some of this stuff, but what can I do within my own sort of little bubble of the universe. Well, I can make puppets and I can do all kinds of miniature sets and things of that nature. So I started making weird, wonderful, grotesque monsters and doing these short films. I think 20 some odd short films later, I'm still going with it and, you know, having a lot of fun with it. Eventually, I'd like it to be able to sustain itself, um, you know, but really at the moment it is. It's mostly just me in my basement with a camcorder <laughs> and some editing software putting stuff together, but uh, I do it because I love it, and, um, you know, I just want to keep keep doing it. This work has taken me around the globe. I've, I've worked in uh, Singapore, uh, I've... I've Worked in Copenhagen. You know, I've been in and around the UK doing stuff. Uh, so I've just been really fortunate that, you know, following a crazy, goofy idea has given me all kinds of crazy, goofy adventures. I'm paid to play with dolls. Okay, woohoo! <laughs>